Hi, welcome to Power Broker Exchange. So if you're here, you probably already know the site is located at www.powerbrokerexchange.com and uh, it's a site specifically focused on uh, exchange and equity marketing real estate. So we're glad you're interested and glad you're here. I'm going to teach you how to get a user uh, set up on the site so that you can use the site to transact business. So when you arrive at the site, you will uh, notice that there's a fair amount of functionality that's available to public users. It's probably helpful to quickly review that before so that you know later on whenever you're publishing packages uh, you have an idea of what the public users are seeing. So on the main page you have a uh, section of question and answer and featured discussions. So if you have a question um, or a comment uh, or anything that you need to know about related to, to Exchange or 1031 or property advice or any of that please come here and post the question. Multiple uh, community members will, will see that question, get an e email, a notification about that question, and help answer your question. So as a public user, you can look through all the questions. You just can't submit or ask a question or follow a question's result. So uh, that comes later whenever you're a signed-in user. Also, you can see packages. So you can see other people's packages here. So when you publish as an authenticated user, uh, logged in user, when you publish a package, uh, public users will be able to see that. So uh, they can come and take a look at the package that you have here published and uh, they have limited details so they won't see your contact and email information um, to, just to keep everything private and they don't have the ability to submit a transaction. Uh, same thing on the boards, we have cash board, paper, bo paper note boards and have want boards. Um, packages are full package um, submissions, full, full uh, property for cash, property, and for paper. Boards are quick pitches where it's just a simple board um, information. So we don't have any boards in yet. But uh, the, uh, the topics is a summary of the, the questions that we have, blog. We'll have more information coming to the blog as we go. So the main thing though that we want to learn in this video is how to create a new user, an authenticated user. So it's really simple from the home page. You just want to create uh, a user by clicking on the join the community tab. It's going to take you to the login. You want to create input your uh, try to type better than I do. Put your first name, last name in, and then I see. Let me do. All right, click sign up. That's going to generate an email, take you to the uh, check your email side. So we'll park this back at the um, at the uh, login page, and we'll take a look at my email. Now we have an exchange. Click on the link. It's going to take you back to the page here. Create a password. Now whenever the uh, password is submitted, it's going to log you in. Now you notice now we have the ability to see transactions. So we've got transactions, contacts, and groups available to us. And uh, also on the packages, now we have the ability to add a new package so uh, there's a button here to add a new package all right so we'll stop the video there uh, one other quick thing before we uh, wrap up you want to make sure that you're uh, checking your uh, list views so notice that uh, whenever a new user creates anytime a new user creates a uh, login and a new account you're going to default to recently viewed so you want to change most of your list views at least while you're getting started to all or cash or something that you're interested in because now that gives you the ability to see packages um, and uh, data from other folks. You can also pin that into uh, in, as your standard so you notice now whenever I go away and come back with that pin it's always going to default back to all and you can use that functionality on all the the boards, the transactions and, and all the parts of the application. So uh, we'll stop here. The, uh, the next step is to create a, a new exchange package, which we're going to do in the next video. So uh, you, you're all logged in, ready to go. I'd urge you to go ahead and take a look at uh, your profile, your settings, your messages, and account information, and you can make adjustments as you see there.
but you should have your user account set up and ready to go. So next video, creating packages.